Hey everybody, this is Dolby Yoshi here, welcoming, up, welcoming you back to Tales of Symphonia. And this time, in the last episode, we went through a little bit of Asgard Human Ranch. But this time, we are going to head back to Luin and do one of Sheena's Summon Spirits. So let's get started, shall we? We shall. We shall. And this is where we can get a lot of money from, so... Yep. And there's not much to do in Luin, so... I can't believe X-Spheres are made from human lives. Yep. This is Marble's life. by taking that off. It's not just an X-Sphere. It's also your mother's life, remember? But these things make a mockery of human life. But we would have lost long ago had we not had them. Don't you think I know that? Do you really? If you throw away that X-Sphere now, do you think you can finish this journey? Yeah, I know. Without these things, we're just a bunch of weak humans. We can fight because we have these, I know that. But x exist as a result of taking someone's life. And? Those people didn't become victims because they wanted to. But I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into x -fears. My opinion may not matter much because I don't use an x -fear. But I believe the designs will defeat us if we throw away our x now. And if that happens... More people will lose their lives to these stones. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this journey to be meaningless. Colette's right. We can throw away the x spheres at any time, but right now, we must carry the weight of the hopes and dreams of those victims and fight for their sake, as well as ours. Didn't you say you weren't going to hesitate anymore? Yeah. I hate to say it, but you're right. Mom's regrets and wishes dwell in this thing. To prevent creating more victims like Marble and my mom. I'm going to help Colette. I will fight for both myself and my mom who lives on within me. Yeah, me too. I'm going to fight on Marble's behalf as well. Me too. I'm going to regenerate the world as quickly as I can. People are sinful creatures. Life survives at the cost of another. Then we must continue to bear the burden of our sins for as long as we continue to live. Life survives at the cost of another? I don't really know how to say this, but I don't think there's a way to justify the lives sacrificed to make x -spheres. They have to be stopped at all costs. Alright guys, I'll see you... Uh, let's see. We'll start at the water seal, make our way... Back to the beginning of this game, so. See you guys back over at the Water Seal's altar. See you then. Oh wait, but what are we going to do now? Gavar will undoubtedly increase the security now. We won't be able to get in easily. There was someone who escaped from the ranch. He may know another way in. I know him. His name is... Pytro? You should still be in Hima. Why do you know him? It doesn't matter, does it? I have my reasons. Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay, let's go to Hima. But before Hima, we'll be going to the water seal. See you guys back there. Alright, guys. We are. We can't do the summon spirits yet. We have to do it after the Asgard ruins, so... Er... I think. Let's see... Actually, after the Tower of Mana, we will be doing that, so. So, on that note, guys, we shall head to Hima. Sorry for the long wait. I have to edit a lot out now. Because I am such a klutz. Ah! Run away, please! Ah, it's still waiting for me. Be careful, everyone. Oh, new enemy, I think. 
Yo, you know what I mean. Yay, air thrust. I'm gonna switch between Gina and Colette. Cause they're both damage dealers, so. He loves using air thrust now, doesn't he? Huh. On that note, I'm gonna take off Windblade then. Since he got air thrust. Nope, evil doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> okay, let's see. You have to keep heading west. And him, Hima is... I always found Hima to be hard to find. Oh! Ah! Oh. Here Yes, I know. As long as you don't run into the enemy like that. <laughs> Uh-oh, I hope it comes back. Is it like over this way, I think? Um, oh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, go goodness. I can't find it. <clears throat> um, I hope I can go around these mountains. Because I think I see it. Oh, stupid enemies, I hate you. I don't want to fight weak enemies. Even though they give me gold, but... Um... Where is it now, Nima? Ah! Fine. I'm gonna kill you. If you're gonna be here, you shush. There we go. Are you okay? And don't come back. I know, right? Don't come back, or else I'll destroy you. Haha. <laughs> ah! I can't see when the camera does that. Seriously, gar. They always do that when I'm recording. Always. Oh, here it is. I passed it. <laughs> I can't believe this. The x -spheres? But it does make sense. If x are absorbing human life, then moving them by force could indeed turn the host into monsters. How can you talk so firmly? Ah, it's precious at times like this that I have to try to remain calm. Next time, guys, you need to make sure that you have... Should give us a few minutes or a few seconds to actually talk out the things. <laughs> I'm... Oh, yeah! And, ma. Uh... Alright. Okay, let's go down first. Oh, doggy! Bark, bark! Oh, boo, she's so cute! Of course she's cute! Alright. Boo! 
there it is. That's what I was trying to find. Wonder Chef. I'm the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. It's easy on the stomach and very healthy. I shall teach you the recipe for a risotto. Thank you. I love risotto, by the way. Thank you. Very well. Okay, we shall buy equipment next. Um, greetings. Yes, 240. That's bad. All right. Let's save. And head out. Welcome to the Crimson Canyon. What store are you interested in? Uh, let's see what you have for customation. And I can't buy anything. <laughs> I'll have to buy it normally. Various goods, please. Oh, Amber Cloak. Gotta have that. Clara Cat. Um, that should be good for now. And then, some apple gels. Now I'm broke again. <laughs> Let's see, Clara Cat, even though it's not much. Feather Robe, awesome! Oh yeah, her defense skyrockets with that. There we go! I'll give you the Spirit Bagel. Because you're good. Awesome! Connect! You're doing awesome! Alright, that'll do for now. Now we have to go up here. No, I'm good. Oh, another doggy. Wine! This one is Rookie, Rookie, Rookie. Huh. <laughs> These are the graves of people who escaped from the human ranch. Those who escape from the ranch are infected by the curse and eventually die. How long is this going to go on? I don't know. Wow, you can see the Tower of Salvation really well from here. Man, how far up does the Tower of Salvation go? Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me for just a bit. Hmm, this looks like it's wide enough. Good, good. What are you talking about? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad you asked. I'm thinking of starting a new business here. It's going to be called Dragon Tours. Dragon Tours? You take a tour here to watch the dragons that fly by? Oh, close. That's a good guess, kid. I'm starting a business where you ride on a dragon and see the Tower of Salvation up close. You can go to the Tower of Salvation? No, no, no. They just fly around it. But still, it'll be the experience of a lifetime. Yep. Wow, that's cool. So where are the dragons? I'll bring them next time. Look forward to it until then. Bye! No one's going to wait around for your dragons. Hey, mister, I'll be waiting. Haha, <laughs> nice one. Ah. Uh. Alright, there should...
is said behind the house. Um, let's see. This is Sam of the Village of Adventurers. Well, we call it a village, but really, there's just an inn. Oh, shush. I started a journey as per the teaching as the Church of Martell, but the man is tiresome. Well. Oh, dear, I bought too much food. I can't possibly return to Loon carrying all this. What am I going to do? Go with him. What? You'll come with me? Thank you so much. Uh, why'd I just do that? I'm going to disturb the food to the people of the city of Suffolk. See you later. Seriously? Okay, I'll see you guys back at Hema then. <clears throat> oh. Sheena. How... How's Pytro? He passed away. <gasps> Did he say something, anything, about the human ranch, perhaps? I, I don't know. I don't even know if he really escaped from there. What about his belongings? He didn't have any. Where is his grave? At the back of the adventurer's graveyard. Ah, uh, don't think about digging up his grave, please. Well, that's where we're going next. Back up to where we had that scene. I hope. Okay, good. <clears throat> I suppose digging up the grave is out of the question. Anyway, let's pray. Hmm? Chosen mana, die. What's he saying? Petro, I heard you were dead. Here you are. Chosen, die, angel, die. Human ranch, underground. You mustn't come out here. Let's go. You lied to us. He's the one that escaped from the ranch. Really? Please tell me how did you get away from that human ranch? Boulder, big underground jewel, boulder move chosen. What are you saying? Is that the escape route? Please, let him be. Now listen, you may be happy just protecting Petro, but because of this guy, countless people from Loon are dead. How about helping us just a little? I'm sure Petro has many things he wants to say as well, but because of the curse, he's been turned into this. But he's still alive! The dead can't even tell us that they were scared. Please help us. We want to go to the ranch if it's possible to get out. It's possible to get back in, right? Please? I'm willing to help you, but I'm... But in exchange, lift his curse. The healing technique, technique left behind by Boltzmann is in the Tower of Mana. That may be able to cure his curse. Alright, but infiltrating in the ranch comes first. That I won't re whatever. When he escaped from the ranch, he said he came out through the front yard and he blocked the exit with the boulder. His things are in the grave. Take them with you. Thank you. We'll come back when we have required the healing technique, which is resurrection. <laughs> come, let's go. Was there a boulder there? Yes. I do recall something that seemed unnatural. Yes, let's go check it out. Yeah. Alright, guys. In the next episode, we shall head to... Um, Asgard Human Ranch. Next episode. See you guys later.